Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia uh, quick tip. Yeah, it's more a quick tip than a tutorial. Uh, I have a little time now and a few minutes ago I got an interesting question. Uh, a tutorial will, be, will come tomorrow then, but uh, today I am uh, still busy, but... Uh, okay, tutorial tomorrow, now a quick tip. The question was uh, if it's possible and uh, how it's possible to make uh, something like a cube uh, from uh, invisible from the outside and the inside uh, uh, should be here. That means uh, this guy wants to make an animation uh, from a, a space, a picture of the, the, the outer space, and it should open uh, a window from from nowhere, a window, and, and behind the window should be a room. Uh, but you shouldn't see the room from the outside. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is po should be possible. I, I, I want to show you how it. I didn't try it now, but but I have an idea how this works. So we should can do this. Let's start with a cube. This will be our room. We will do it very simple. And I make it editable. See on your keyboard. Chuck editable. Now I make here an inner extrude with eye on the keyboard, inner extrude it a little bit, so something like that. This will be later our window. And here I split this uh, polygon up, so so up on the keyboard, so I have another thing. This is just our so this is just our thing here. But I wanna see this guy here now and, and want to delete this polygon here. Now I hide this and this, so take this back. Go in the edge mode, whoop whoop, and here uh, just hit MM or right click and uh, connect points and edges. So MM to to, hide, to make it half here. So check. then in point mode, I delete these two points and have one side of the window. Okay, and this uh, just make another copy out of this. So uh, copy it and bring it next to the window so uh, the window is uh, x we have here 48 i copy this value here and put it in the x value here Control v so now i have this two and now i take these two cubes here and make my magic center so i center the axis for these two things so the cube is centered in the it's it's important to have the center here in, uh, in the in the set direction, the C direction, Z direction, whatever. <laughs> and now, of course, I need my. Uh, I would like to, uh, normally now I don't need two two of them. Why, why why two? One is enough. So, yeah, one is enough. So. <laughs> I want my axis here on the side because when we want to open it, we should be on the side to this axis. So what I do is I go in, in the snap ring tools, uh, enable the snap, enable edge snap, hold my L key on the keyboard and just drag it to the side. You see it snaps to the edge. This is exactly what I want. Release my L key with Shift S. You can deactivate the snapping tool and activate. <laughs> And here we don't need to do this because I take a symmetry object. Normally uh, I say hold the Alt key symmetry, but here not because I want the symmetry object exactly in the middle of the world, so in the middle of the world axis here. And now I drag the cube inside the symmetry object. And now if I play here with R and with, with the heading, you see we can we can open our window very nice. Let's go here to keep and what I want is I drag this edge here out of to, to here because I don't want to uh, search uh, any any time for this cube or for this edge here when I want to open it or or when to animate it. So I drag it here and right click and show always. And now if I'm on the cube or somewhere, I can here just simply drag it and then can here do the same. So I don't have to go every time to my cube back. Okay, let's see here. No, so, uh, so zero, not nice. So, and bring back this. Now we have our room. Now the, the, the interesting part comes. Uh, 
I, of course, use my Nicomedia Scene Rig, but you, you don't have the rig, you don't need it really. Uh, you can make this with a background picture, uh, with, with a background object, and then and place a picture on the background object, or with a sky or something else. Uh, I do it with my rig, of course. And so I bring in my Nicomedia Scene Rig. So I don't need the floor. I don't. I don't need nothing here because I want to play. With, I want to use a background picture, so I use a flat background picture, and Shift F8 to bring up the content browser. And I have here, as you see, we have here something like a. Oh, that's that's a coincidence that it's it's uh, chosen already. <laughs> so uh, bring it back to the background background picture here. And okay, it's in the scene. And what I need now is an a an material. It's the same picture in it. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this for scripts here. This is uh, the update of the Nicomedia scene rig. It's it's not out yet, but during the next week it will will be out. And here you can easily uh, make materials. This is a diffuse material, plastic material, metal, and transparent material. So you don't you don't have to, to uh, change everything. I did it for me, but I thought maybe you like it too. So what I do now here is just I make a new diff uh, diffuse material, and here in the color channel, I drag in my JPEG here, the texture, okay. And for the lighting, I, I take the same here. Uh, but we don't need really a lighting. We would, yeah, we need it for the inside of the room. So I make it here. Go to my rig. Put this HDR here inside. So okay. And now we have this for the cube and put it on the cube now. On this and this, of course. And all. Now it looks like this, and this looks not really correct, so it looks like. The next thing is, what we may have to do, we have to change uh, the mapping of both of them from uh, UV mapping to a frontal mapping. Then we get something like this, but we have uh, still shadows and something else. For this, we use, uh, we take the cube and this cube so the window by her and right click and get a compositing tag and in this compositing tag just uh, go to compositing background and activate this and now you see uh, our cube disappears it's totally away and but now when i open the window you see nothing still nothing the reason is we have this uh, texture on both sides of our polygons and we have here the possibility to say which side I want it when I say I want just on the front side now you see we have here our open window okay we have here our open window and we can look in our window we have just this this that's it, more than less. And uh, yeah, of course, well, don't forget if you wanna uh, make an, uh, some material for the inside, I make another diffuse material, let's see, so something like that. Maybe illumination, so illuminate it, so don't make it with the colors, so something like that, not so bright. Uh, Put this on the inside, so I put it on the cube, and again on the window, and you see, now we have this, of course, now we have to go to these two materials, and say we need it just in the back. So now we have inside the material we want, and outside we see nothing. I think this is a, ni it's a nice idea. <laughs> I like this idea. And. Yeah, of course you could normally um, make a, a frame for the window or something else, and then you have the frame flying around. Maybe yeah, let's try this. I do it very, very uh, quick and dirty now, but let's try something like this. 
go to my cube here, edge mode UL by loop selection here and edge to spline. I have it here in my toolbar. Uh, if you don't have it here, you have it somewhere under commands, I think. Uh, edge to spline, yeah. Edge to spline. Make a simple, very, very simple sweep. So I take a rectangle. So make it 20 by 20. Often, so now everyone should know how to make a sweep. So, <laughs> okay, maybe a little big 10 by 10. Give this an let's say a metal material here. Yeah, this, this is okay. You see, with the metal material, I have just everything for metal, and this is a chromium thing, and yeah, everything is preset. So, so Put this on our frame and let's render this. Let's close the window. So so we, we just see a frame in, 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 this, in this space. And if we open the window then it looks great. <laughs> I like this idea. <laughs> Thanks for this question. This is a nice idea. <laughs> okay, I hope it helped. This is uh, how I said uh, I'm busy, but uh, from Monday on I have more time and then I will be more more behind the tutorials and everything. So uh, I promise so much, but it's it's really not not easy uh, to do it uh, because I do still everything alone and uh, it's just that the day has two two less hours, you know. Okay. This is it for now, and yeah, and we will uh, hopefully see us tomorrow in a new tutorial or two. Let's say let's let's see how how many time I have I find. But normally it should be more quiet now. Okay, so bye bye, tschüss und papa, and have a nice weekend. And now papa, <laughs> tschüss.